everybody welcome back to german auto house here we specialize on supercar supercar repair and performance ring that bell welcome and this vlog guys we talk about beautiful beautiful ferrari 488 pista and like you see the car is already on dyna and we do baseline dyna pool and that a lot before we do some tune some performance and i know what you want to see you want to see how many horsepower that car has in stock it's original nothing just like we just pull this car and dyna to check because i'm really interested about pista i never done this car before and then Six seventy-eight. Yeah, this is like five hundred torque, but this is stuck. Six seventy-eight, guys. Wow, wow, wow! For stuck, it's it's really good number. Uh, our plan: we have a Caprista exhaust system. Uh, we keep original downpipe just like the car is it's it's really quiet it's really quiet and we added more uh ferrari not on this car after swap and hmm, tune but this is not the power tune this is it's gonna be stage one really light really light like our friends say long life tune i like this i like this how they call it long life and we just added a little bit more barbell, little bit more barbell and little bit more performance. Okay, let's remove that car from Dyna and start to assemble the rear end to swap exhaust. Well, after Dyna, car is on the hoist. Guys, you can see the original exhaust is already out. And where is our Capristo? Right there. Here is the Capristo, non walt just this style stainless steel exhaust is going to right here of course i excited about how is that car gonna be sounding well it's done this is novitech Novitec lip, uh, the Novitec exhaust, and look at these details, guys. All carbon everywhere. We added a little bit juice. Ilya, can you rev it a few times? Yeah. Let's go to test drive. What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? We're doing great. We got a beautiful LT600 back to us and today this car is always on time attack. Always running, always having fun. The owner wants to upgrade his brakes even though he's got ceramics already. He wants something different and as far as I know he reached out to RB Carbon Ceramic and these are i don't know if they're one of a kind but i believe they're testing it on his car and i mean you have the carbon brakes everything all set up so even the brake lines that's also going to be replaced with new fluid also and that is our job today hello everybody playing for this car and actually that car is always a time attack and actually this summer is gonna be and you can see how is the brake changed colors and yeah the original one you see this is just the one on lapis start yeah and visually it's overheated well yeah this is original one it's not built for time attack like this car is supposed to be planning to use but yeah and visually this this brake is more bigger than original one yeah this is the first one we'll see how is it going and it's gonna be our review right 
<laughs> Welcome back everybody. Well, we're finishing up. We're almost done with the conversion going from factory, factory red and talking about red, 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 red. This one's out of place. Yeah, this one's out of place. This one doesn't uh, quite work here, but we converted front and rears to the RB carbon ceramic rotors, pads, and calipers. One thing we ran into an issue, we couldn't use the supplied brake lines. They're a different set of basically European to standard, or I don't know what you call them, but these fittings, they don't fit with a McLaren. So we have to use factory ones, but factory also are uh, braided lines. So we're good. Can you feel a little bit me, please? Please, please. Red Porsche. It's mean almost red Ferrari. <laughs> but this is hella fast car. And our our plan for this car. You guys can see. This like for me it's my favor car work with uh, on exhaust swap exhaust replacement because two three bolt take it out you good our plan lisa do the custom x x pipe exhaust x pipe let's say x pipe yeah uh, with the valvatronic system and we do we add a little bit more juice for this car let's see Well, now it's actually, the McLaren has already finished it. We have a hard time. I didn't show you guys with this caliper installation and we still have, I mean, it's not a problem. It's like uh, that caliper is really, really, really close to, to the wheel. And uh, it's, now it's like, I think around uh, two millimeter gap. Uh, previous uh, adapters we install and uh, it's impossible to install the rims because uh, to be caliper and we install 20 inches to move in and out and then uh, They are shipped to us updated version of the adapter plate this uh, thinner two and a half millimeter and now actually we can install but I don't like this gap between caliper and rims I'm sure uh, it's scratch uh, rims inside and caliper by stone because like so many stone and he want a time attack track this car and I think he's need like at least two two and a half millimeter more uh, for bigger gap but we'll see I want to take to ride today to check how is it and well it looks like car is ready to go We have Audi R8. Audi R8 have a strange noise from gearbox. Some between engine and gearbox. This is the really, really, really uh, sad story about that that car. What happens with this car? But the dealer the last time installed a new engine, and something start making noise. We think this is the problem with the flywheel. Alex pull this gearbox out and we take a look what's going on. Well guys, transmission is out and like it's just a mark, it's an original flywheel and you can see what it makes sound. Yeah, this, this guy, this part of the dual mass flywheel and now I want, we have the different one. We would like to install and then I will show you guys how is the good flywheel, how it's like try to move like this and you can see it's like not any sound. Here is the new one, you can see how is the sound. And again, original. And again, this one. And the gearbox. 
gearbox is okay. Well, now it's time to install back everything and check how is the. But I'm sure no more sound from the flywheel. Well, the gearbox already in. Uh, we fire up Alex. Uh, just a planning to adjust the fuel. Anyway, we need to replace this gasket and uh, we need to do the transmission flush. But uh, no more sound from flywheel. You can you can just I don't know. Can you hear that one? No any uh, like. No any sound, okay, no any sound from that flywheel. Now it's actually good. Everything looks good and we need to finish. Assembled everything back and took to right. But actually, uh, I'm glad we diagnosed properly. This is the flywheel because like the first time I see that on Audi R8. But yeah, that has been dual mass flywheel.